In Donetsk, the shelling continues. The smoke is rising close to apartment blocks built in the Soviet era. But many of them are empty. Emergency workers here estimate more than half of the city's population has gone. That's almost 600,000 people. And this is why they're leaving. A shell landed next to this school. It was empty because of the holidays. Like many here, its caretaker says she can't understand why Ukraine is at war. We're really in shock. Ukrainians and Russians lived and worked together peacefully. We didn't even think about our nationalities. Now we're just thinking about how to survive. More civilians are dying in this conflict than soldiers. Hundreds of people have been killed and thousands injured. Now Human Rights Watch is accusing Ukrainian forces of firing grad rockets on people's homes. The elderly couple that live here are watching television when the rocket hit their apartment. I can show you how lucky they were to survive. You can just see the gaping hole in their rooftop. Both sides are denying using grad rockets on populated areas. They are renowned for being inaccurate. That's because the rockets are unguided and are often fired from multi-barrel launchers covering a wide area. Ukraine insists it's not using Grad missile systems around Donetsk. The Grads that our military possesses haven't arrived there yet, and they're not within range of the areas mentioned in the report. As of now, our units with light artillery are blocking the exits from Donetsk, but it's the terrorist Grads that have been shelling Donetsk to try to show the Ukrainian forces in a bad light. Earlier in July, Al Jazeera filmed Ukrainian grad rocket launches on the road to Donetsk. Human Rights Watch says Kiev must now take responsibility. Instead of denying this, I think it would be wise for the Ukrainian government to commit to immediately, immediately stop using these kinds of rockets in populated areas. They are indiscriminate. and The moment you use them in these areas, they are going to kill and injure civilians. Ukrainian forces are pushing further into Donetsk and separatist pro-Russian fighters are preparing to defend this city, whatever the costs. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Donetsk, Eastern Ukraine.